I had to read the scripture. I'm reading Nehemiah uh, chapter 2. In the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of King Agassiris, when wine was brought for him, I took the wine and gave it to the king. I had not been sad in his presence before. So the king asked me, why does your face look so sad when you're not ill? This can be nothing but sadness of heart. I was very much afraid, but I said to the king, may the king live forever. Why should my face not look sad when the city where my fathers are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been destroyed by fire? <clears throat> the king said to me, what is it you want that I pray to the God of heaven? And I answered the king, if it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in his sight, let him send me to the city in Judah where my fathers are buried so that I can rebuild it. Then the king with the queen sitting beside him asked me, How long will your journey take and when will you get back? It pleased the king to send me, so I set a time. <clears throat> I also said to him, If it pleases the king, may I have letters to the governors of Tanz and Phrygis so that they will provide me safe conduct until I arrive in Judah. And may I have a letter to Asaph, king of the king's forest, keeper of the king's forest, so he will give me timber to make beams for the gates of the citadel by the temple and for the city wall and for the residence I will occupy. And because the gracious hand of my God was with me, everybody say gracious hand, as my God was with me, the king granted my requests. So I went to the governors of Trans Euphrates and gave them the king's letters. The king had also sent out the officers and cavalry with me. And the last verse 10. When Sambari, the Hornite, and Tobiah, the Ammonite official, heard about this, they were very much disturbed that someone had come to promote the welfare of the Israelites. This is the word of the Lord. Be to God. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome you here to the ninth convention of the Church Chapels in the Cayman Islands. I'd like to see where you're from. Um, make some noise. Uh, Frank Sound. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Town. Thank you for bringing us together from the four corners of 
of this item in it. These items uh, today are to worship you, Lord, in this convention. We pray that all the precious may be so real that they'll feel you, Lord. They'll feel you pulsing, Lord, in the service. They'll feel you, Lord, in our spirits. They'll feel you, Lord, touching us and changing us and, and helping us, Lord, to become the kind of people you want us to be. Pray, Lord, you bless all that we do here today. Bless our speakers, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing them to us. Thank you, Lord, for their lives. Lord, that you have poured into their lives. And help them, Lord, as they pour into us, what you pour into them. Oh, so it's such a prayer, Lord, for our pastor. And Lord, pastor, Lord, do not have life easier. So we think we have some challenges, Lord, and everybody else. But thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy and your faithfulness, Lord. Yes. And not just the pastor, but all those who yes. minister yes. in the house of God. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for everybody who's finally here in the service. There are those over there in the family life center doing stuff, Lord. I pray you bless everybody in our congregations for all that they have done, all they will do. And so, Lord, I pray you bless our corporate worship. You pray, Lord, you give us uh, fellowship. And I pray, Lord, that you will pour your spirit into us. May we learn. Lord, may we also come to love one another. And Lord, may we never, ever be the same for having been here. Bless those who are sick, Lord, from our congregations. Those who are sick around us, either those who are mourning. Those who are grieving for the loss of loved ones. Pray for our government, we pray for our country, Lord. We pray indeed for our world. Lord, there are so many things going on. We understand there's 110 different wars and conflicts in our world today. Lord, we come against these wars and these conflicts. We pray for peace, and we pray that the peace that is this day, Prince of Peace, may arise in the hearts and the lives of men and women, boys and girls who live in the on planet Earth, Lord, we pray for peace in our time, peace in our world, peace in our planet, peace in our lives. We say we pray in Jesus' name, all the people said, Amen. I want to step down, please we say, I want to step down to our announcements. Good night. Wow. Good night. Okay, here are the announcements. We have to invite you to join us each evening at 6 o'clock for prayer in the prayer room. That's in St. Paul. They, uh